Guardians hosting the Astros, and the Astros are plus 153 on the money line. The Guardians are minus 184. Over under is seven and a half runs. Cleveland laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 122, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Astros getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 145, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow and the weather is supposed to be 73 degrees eight mile an hour winds from the right to the left and a 44 percent chance of rain gusto did not pitch against cleveland last year or this year and sandlin did pitch against the astros this year three times every one of these games was in relief one and two thirds no runs no earn they lost five to two he struck out one that was a couple days ago a third of an inning no runs no earn they lost a two that was in houston he struck out no one one and two-thirds, no runs, no earn. They lost 10-9 in 10 innings, and that was in Houston. And he didn't strike anyone out. Head-to-head, -head, the Astros are 8-2. and two. The Astros are on a three-game winning streak. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The underdog has won the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10, including the one they played against each other today. The under is hitting that last two. The under is six and four, and it's seven and a half runs. One, two, three, four. The under is also six and four. Neither of these teams have confirmed their starters, and these aren't guys who are normally in their rotation, so we're just going to kind of glaze over that fact. I think this is Gusto's first career start. The Astros are 3-1 and one in their last four. Seven runs, nine runs, seven runs, seven runs. Four runs and a win, one run and a loss, five runs and a win, four runs and a win. For Cleveland, two and two. Seven runs, seven runs, seven runs, seven runs. That's their last four games. Six runs and a win, five runs and a win, two runs and a loss, three runs and a loss. Astros with the money line, Astros getting the runs. I'll go under. Seven seems to be the magic number when these two teams have been playing. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.